Lent, season of renewal in preparation of Easter. Today, ashes are traced on our forehead in the form of a cross as we are told, turn away from sin and believe in the good news. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Joel Ristover, CM, from San Vicente de Paul Parish. Please all rise and join the choir singing the entrance song. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. The beginning of Lent is marked by giving of ashes to signify our mourning or contrition for our sins. This sign of penance, however, should be accompanied by inner conversion by metonia or change of heart. We rent our hearts, not our garments, and return to the Lord. Our Lenten practices, prayer, fasting, and giving, are rightly done before God's eyes. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The words of the prophet Joel are both an urgent exhortation and a comforting revelation. We should return to the Lord because He is gracious and merciful. The Lord forgive us our transgressions and give us healing. For our first reading, Engineer Alan A. Gatpulintan. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord, your God. For gracious and merciful is he, is slow to anger, rich in kindness and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, Notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room 
and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his consolial psalm, Mr. Charlie B. J. Dumo. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Altogether, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Response, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Response, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Clean heart, create me for, for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit in you within me. Cast me not out from, my, from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take, from, take not from me. Response, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit to stay in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. The grace of God manifests in Jesus who delivers us from sin. Lent is an acceptable time to stay close to Jesus in his work of salvation. For our second reading, Ms. Thelma L. Perez. letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ. As if God were appealing to us, we implore you on behalf of Christ. We reconcile to God. For our sake, he made him to be seen who did, did, who did not know him, so that we might become the righteousness of God on me. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In unacceptable time, I heard you. And on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise. If today you hear his voice, harden up your heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, 
to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms giving may be in secret, and your father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sits in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Father. Pwede ko bang pakibate yung katabi natin ng good morning then? Today is Valentine's Day. I remember one time I facilitated a retreat to young people and I had an activity during the retreat on Valentine's Day that these particular participants for some young students would give a heart-shaped cartolina cutouts from one another. Nagpa-activity to ako na courting heart yung cartolina na kulay red. And when I asked them to give their heart no? na cartolina na cutouts na shape na heart to their co-participants, I asked them to exchange this uh, cutouts heart-shaped cartolina each other and share their experiences on being loved and loving in return. To be an example, I joined them in this activity. One student stood up and asked me, Father, to whom will you give your heart? Kanino mo ibibigay sa amin yung kartulina na shape na heart na, na iyong uh, ibabahagi sa amin? But you know, this question found a good place in my heart. And I will remember it forever. Aside from today is Valentine's Day, today is Ash Wednesday. It marks the beginning of the season of Lent. Ashes will be put on our foreheads as we hear the words, Turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. Fasting and abstinence are to be observed. 
there are three pillars that we always hear during the season of Lent. Prayer, fasting, and abstaining. Interestingly, both Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday seemingly unrelated. But share a unique question we can ask ourselves. To whom do we give our hearts? Kanino mo ngayon ibibigay ang iyong puso? Kanino mo ngayon ipagkakaloob ang iyong puso? One of the suggestions perhaps and the most right way of giving our hearts can be found in our readings today. Say, the prophet Joel in the first reading calls us to return to the Lord with our whole heart, to rend our hearts, not our garments. It is the Lord who invites us, His beloved people, to give back our undivided love, our hearts, to Him. St. Paul, in the second reading, reminds us to be truly reconciled with God. Paul, like an ambassador for God, appeals to all of us to hear God's invitation through Psalm 95. Aptly calls us, if, you, if today you hear His voice, Harden not your hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, the heart is often used as a metaphor for the core or center representing the wool of the person. The Lord asks us to go back to a loving relationship with Him. It is we, His children, whom He desire most. Not the material goods, money, or garments we offer. He wants us to hear His voice of mercy and be reconciled with Him to give our hearts to Him. The Gospel today allows us to see a way on how we truly give our hearts to God. He does not ask us for a show to let everyone know that we are returning to God. Those who do so, like hypocrites, receive their reward already. When we want to give our hearts to God, Jesus says, Go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. This is how we give our hearts back to the Father. We go to our inner room, our very own Holy of Holies. In that inner room, we offer to God our very selves. Not our garments, not the outward appearances, but our hearts, our very selves, which God will make clean. The prayer in Psalm 51, a clean heart in me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me, sums up the desire of our hearts to go back to Him. We wish to go back with a clean heart worthy of such an invitation of a loving God. On this day of hearts and as we begin the season of Lent, I hope we can ask ourselves to whom do we give 
our hearts. Can we give our hearts back to God? And in this season of Lent, as we begin today, we hope and pray that once again we return to God and give our hearts to Him as our Valentine's gift in this Valentine's Day. I'm not saying that we give our hearts to someone or those people who are dear to us, but it's also good that we all surrender and give once again our hearts to God as we prepare for the celebration of the Paschal Mystery. We shall now bless the ashes to rise. Please rise. Dear brothers and sisters, as we humbly ask God our Father that He be pleased to bless with abundance of His grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessings. On your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this moment, please be advised that we have an ash station at the back, also near in front of the altar.
Jesus. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may open our hearts to the kingdom of His Son, stay close with Him in prayer, and be active in works of charity. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. For our prayer of the faithful Miss Anna Victoria C. Santelices. That the Pope, Bishop, Priests, and Deacons may welcome Lent as an acceptable time of renewal through their sincere words of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That government officials may be led to inner conversion and reject all kinds of abuses which degrade the dignity of the human person, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the mark of ashes on our forehead may remind us of our human frailty and move us to spend the gift of our life for the building of God's kingdom in humility and loving service to our brothers and sisters. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. That those who consecrate their lives to God continue to respond in the joyful living of perfect chastity, poverty and obedience as a witness to the power of God's love manifested in the weakness of the human condition. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. That the Lord Jesus may take into paradise our departed brothers and sisters and at the end of our own journey, welcome us to that same place he has prepared for us in the Father's kingdom. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our petitions. May this season of repentance bring us your forgiveness and lead us to the joy of Christ's victory over sin and death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please rise. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins, we become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit like the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Thank you. 
us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this heaven. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated to give thanks to our sponsors. On behalf of our Mayor Manila, Sina Hani Lacuna Pangan, Vice Mayor Yul Serbonieto, and all councillors, personnel, chiefs, and all of you here, thank you so much. And we also thank the Eucharist offering for the candles, Mr. Ronald Flores and Ms. Corazon Tamayo from Department of Tourism, Culture and Arts of Manila. For our fruits, Ms. Carmelita Mulingbayan from City Budget Office. Mr. Ramon Rana Jr. for Commission on Audit. For our goods, Ms. Abby Lacuna, Office of the Mayor. Ms. Gazelle Velasco from Office of the City General Services Office, Ms. Rosalie Reyes and Ms. Susan Kines from Office of the City Treasurer's Office. For our wine and water, Mr. Charlie DJ Dunga from Department of Tourism, Culture and Arts of Manila, and for our Ciborium, Engineer Alan Gatpulintan from Department of Engineering and Public Works, and most specially our Mass Presider today, Reverend Father Joel Rescober, CM from San Vicente de Paul Parish. Please all rise for our final prayer. Uh, since we are now entering the season of Lent, uh, our parish is inviting you uh, first for our Lenten recollection. Baka free ho kayo at nagahanap. You know, that will be on March 2. Saturday, 6 p.m. dun po sa simbahan. Ang ating pong tagapag, uh, tagapagsalita ay uh, si Reverend Father Hans Magdurulang. So, from Quiapo, now uh, parochial administrator sa Our Lady of Annunciation, Paris, sa Liderisa. So, siya pong speaker natin. And as I've said in my homily, and the very aim of this season is to return to God and be reconciled with Him, that in one way or another we have sinned and turned away from Him. Kaya we have our kumpisalang bayan. So sa mga naghahanap po ng kumpisal, a uh, place for kumpisalang, ay ang uh, ating pong parokya meron on uh, Friday before Palm Sunday, and if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, March uh, 22. So alas 5 ng hapon. So, kung gusto po nyo magkumpisa, naghahanap po kayo ng simbahan. So, on March 22, meron po kumpisa ng bayan sa ating parish. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.